Welcome to Dre Dan the Life. I'm Dre Thames. I'm Melissa Thames. Well, I was gonna introduce you, but oh. I guess you can introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do this weekend? We went and saw Creed 2. We're gonna give you our quick review of Creed 2 and what we think about it. Because I actually enjoyed the movie. We both seen the first Creed and liked it. Yes. And then we've seen the uh, Rocky movies. So if you've seen the Rocky movies, if you've seen Creed, you gotta see Creed 2. You can watch Creed 2 without watching uh, any of the previous movies because the movie stands alone and they kind of fill you in with all of the pieces you're missing without watching the previous movies. So don't don't let that hold you back from going to go see Creed. You can just go watch it. But if you've seen the Rocky, uh, the Rocky series, if you've seen the first Creed, you're going to really enjoy the second Creed. I mean, it was a great movie. It's something for everybody in the movie. It uh, it was packed when we went to go see it. And we went oh, yes. we went to an early show we too. We went at ten fifteen in the morning. It was packed, and people were clapping. It's one of those movies where people are gonna be <laughs> shouting and talking throughout the movie because even though you 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 kind of know what's gonna happen, it's it's not saying it's predictable, but the way they lay out the story is pretty good. You it think? is yes, and then it just. It shows a lot of like life lessons, just such as perseverance and just, you know, yeah. showing true grit. And it really is a feel good movie. It was a great movie to see the day after Thanksgiving. I love that it came out on Thanksgiving to think about those times where family and love is important because this movie definitely portrays that. It was a uh, really good movie. Definitely recommend to go see it. Uh, Stallone is in the movie. Michael B. Jordan is in the movie. Uh, Tessa Thompson, is that her name? Yes. Felicia yeah, Rashad. Yeah, Felicia Rashad is in the movie. They got Ivan Drago. I forget his name. Bridget Nielsen, who was. In yeah, it Bridget as well. Nielsen is back in it. A lot of the original characters from the rec the original Rocky. Uh, the guy Russell Hornsby. I did not like his character at all. I was not a fan of him, but he played his role pretty good because I didn't like his character. And but it was quite realistic because we know what the promoters be on. Everything about the movie seemed real. Especially if you're into boxing. Yeah, yeah, make it feel like you was watching a real fight. Like everything about the movie was real. And they even had like HBO commentators that you would see. Yeah, yeah, Roy, yeah. <laughs> Roy Jones was in the <laughs> yeah. movie. Um, uh, Max the Kellum was in the uh -huh. movie too. I think the refs too. Like I, I want to say the refs looked like they, they were. They, they might have real refs too. But yeah, so. Yeah, everything about the movie was real like I don't they didn't miss anything they had everything down to a T and it was actually a movie within itself with the Drago yep, with, with that aspect of it so and it showed you a glimpse into everybody's life that was involved in the movie it's like it really isn't one main character you know it's about Adonis Creed but all of those characters are well thought out and well developed so it made for a great great movie definitely it did I recommend you go watch it. We enjoy watching it. How long was it? A little the over movie? two hours. It was worth it. The setup was good. The way they got you to the ending, you know how it's going to end. But the way they got you to the setup and to the ending, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. So, yeah, it was overall a really, really good, well thought out movie. Like, they, you can tell it just wasn't rushed. They thought about all the details and how everything comes together, and it came together awesome. Overall, good movie, good cast, well written, well produced. Uh, good action. I didn't fall asleep on any of the movie at all. I was up the whole time, so it had to be good if it if I didn't go to sleep on it. I would give it like a nine. Probably not. It it just seemed a little predictable, but it still like the emotions kept you reeled in. Right. The way it was the way it was laid out, it, right. it was good. But I definitely give it a nine. If Rocky would have fought Drago, or maybe if Rocky would have <laughs> threw a punch at at Drago, it would have been a ten. Then that's all for our review. Stay tuned for more. Yeah. We plan on reviewing every movie we see. So, before you go see the movie, come check us out first. Thanks. Thank you.